大家好，欢迎您收看美国之音制作的《美国专讯》，我是李一华。美国抚养儿童成本持续上升，记者布洛克走访了维吉尼亚州一户中产家庭，一起来看看他们真实的生活情况。艾迪伯德和来自秘鲁的妻子加弗列拉对五岁的独生女布兰迪百般宠爱。They make me laugh. 父亲说，为了女儿，该花的钱就花。You look at it as, uh, you know, an investment in another human being who you love very deeply. 布兰迪还没出生，投资就开始了，而且越来越大。You have to、uh, put together your nursery. You have to get out. Stroller, all of those things, and you're invested several thousand dollars. 根据农业部的这份报告，养育孩子最大的开销是住房，其次是保育、教育和食品，其他的开销包括衣服、交通和少儿活动。这一切都给这户住在昂贵的大华盛顿地区的中产阶级家庭带来重负。We're not doing well financially. It's a struggle from month to month. 全世界很多父母养儿育女都很辛苦，不过有些国家提供的医疗保健和儿童保育的补贴能够帮助解决些困难。这些国家包括挪威、瑞典、芬兰和澳大利亚。不过和很多中产阶级家庭一样，他们要花钱让布兰迪参加各种活动，例如芭蕾和游泳班。It's not like when I was growing up,、uh, where I could hop on my bicycle at home and ride. Five miles into town and spend the the day in town. Come back in the afternoon.、Um, there are bad people out there these days. 他说，教育是他最大开销之一，原因是他们决定把布兰迪送到一家私立天主教学校。伯德担心，将来女儿的大学学费会超出他的能力。She'll have to work herself to get through college, or Hopefully, college won't even exist the, the way it does today, and、uh, there will be alternative means for her education. Butterfly fairy. 伯德说，他们属于晚育父母，他和妻子早日退休的梦想是不会成真了。We hope to return to Peru and、uh, in retirement and live there. The savings that we would have had are now going into our child and and our family. 不过他说，这种投资是值得的。记者布洛克，维吉尼亚州亚历山大市报道。拉美裔是穆斯林当中增长速度最快的群体。根据皮尤研究中心的数字显示，大约百分之六的美国穆斯林是拉美裔，其中有一半以上的新皈依者是女性。下面请看记者普雷苏蒂在迈阿密的报道。星期五下午，在充满安息日祈祷声的迈阿密花园清真寺，人们正听着阿丁传授。他的主题是宽恕。在楼上，女士们隔着玻璃或者通过显示屏观看着。这是四年前格雷莎从古巴来到迈阿密之后进入的天地。她说，在搬迁后有扶贫的感觉，但是从先知穆罕默德那里找到了寄托。怀了取名叫马赫迪的第二个儿子之后，托雷莎叛依了伊斯兰教。That's very hard for me because we don't have family here. Just my husband and my kids. And this day, my baby, my Mehdi Aparicio, this day he got born. That's why they say I convert Islam because I'm scared. 据估计，在迈阿密有三千西班牙裔穆斯林，全国范围内有四万多。斯蒂芬妮拥有佛罗里达国际大学的硕士学位，而且发表了一份关于拉丁裔女性宗教叛逆的研究。她说，一些女人选择伊斯兰教是因为她们被西方衡量成功的标准所排斥。这些标准包括事业、学历和财富。他们更接受传统的性别角色，但他们觉得有些人所说的不够自由是好事。It divides the world on a clear grid, so they know exactly where they stand. So the Quran happens to become this book that is almost like a guidebook that tells you exactly how to wear, what to wear, when to wash, what to eat, how to behave, when to pray. When the people see you with the hijab, they respect you. First, second, it's, it's, it's emotion. So you you feel because you are different. 像这样出现在公众场合，就打破了认为所有阿拉伯人都是穆斯林和所有西班牙裔都是天主教徒的传统印象。从信仰耶稣到叛逆先知穆罕默德，托雷莎也发现了这两种文化的相似性。
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم. 所有以 AL 开头的单词都来源于阿拉伯语，这是因为中世纪时期摩尔人占领了西班牙。这一点很有用，因为他正在学习关于伊斯兰教的部分内容是阿拉伯语教授。记者奎苏蒂·拉密报道。感谢您收看美国之音制作的《美国专讯》，我是李一华，我们下次再见。